So hello, hello, Aqua. I am born. <laughs> welcome if you are new to the channel. Welcome back if you love me. I love you too. We are here for Aquarius Energy for June, though if you catch this in divine time whenever you catch it, uh, time is fluid. It runs in a spiral. We revisit energies. Chances are really high that there's a message in here for you if you have caught it in divine time. All right. But for now, <laughs> we are in June. And... Um, we're going to get into it for you, Aqua. Notice, too, I have a lovely new ticker tape. So for those of you that are new to the channel, um, that will help you understand me as a reader and where I come from when I read, especially when I talk about certain things like the mirror, masculine, feminine, what that means, and yada, yada. Okay. Um, I, I have faith that it will help you if you are new. And if you are not new and you've known me for a while, it is a wonderful refresher. Okay. I will be using... My Animal Spirit Wild Unknown cards by Kim Kranz. I will also be using the Naked Heart Tarot. All right. For insights into this energy for you. Uh, cross Watchers, you are more than welcome. All the love sent your way. Just know that, you know, because this is Aquarius' is reading, I'm going to be coming off like I'm talking to Aqua, though I may be talking to you dealing with dealing with an Aquarius, right? So that's why it's very important to take it, how it resonates. Know that if you drop likes, leave comments and share it with all your Aquarian placement friends, there's a chance that you will get bonus readings like Cap, Sag, and Virgo did this month um, in August, right? All of the June videos, their stats um, determine who gets bonus readings in August, okay? So drop a like, don't forget, leave me comments. <laughs> Tell me how it resonates now or later, right? If you got to come back in a couple weeks, it doesn't make sense. Watch your other placements. Let's get into it. Aqua, Aquarian energy, Aquarian placements, the house specifically that Aquarius rules for you. My nose just started itching out of nowhere. Aqua, what are you doing? Ooh. This is too many. I'm going to put them back. But we got dragon. Panther. Nightingale. Firefly. And frog. Okay. What is going on? Aquarius. Eagle. All right. We'll take it. Ooh, camels on the bottom. <laughs> All right. Eagle. Now, that beautiful orb of light looks like a brilliantly shining egg in a way. And eggs are all about creation, right? Creation energy, vessel energy. Um, new, right? Eggs represent what is new yet to be. Very future-oriented eggs. So the eagle swooping in to seize the future, right? Seize the growth. Higher perspective. Eagles are often associated with Archangel Michael. All right. They're often associated with Archangel Michael, who sees things from God's perspective, right? God, universe, source, whatever you label it, okay? Don't get hung up. Um... I think maybe what you've been going through is running off your own reserves, right? Especially with camel on the bottom, running through your own reserves, right? Loving yourself for a very long time and in deep need of an oasis, right? You might be in deep need of an oasis and that just might be the higher perspective that you're seizing for growth, right? You might be seizing this beautiful oasis. It's this growth opportunity, this nurturing opportunity, this new opportunity that is different from maybe the desert that you've been walking through. Right, so eagle energy. Let's see. Let's see what is going on. Insight, please, spirit. For aqua. What is going on? What does June or divine time look like for Aquarian energy? We've got death, 
All right, this is Plutonian energy. It's leaving your sign. It's leaving your sign. That's going to feel like a little breath of fresh air. It'll last a few months. <laughs> what else? Might also be really significant if you got Scorpio placements. Oh, we got the Two of Swords in the reverse. And Justice... Give me one more and clarities, please. The chariot. We've got the movement of cups reversed, which is the knight of cups reversed, clarifying the death card. We've got the seven of cups clarifying the two of swords reversed. The Nine of Swords clarifying justice. And the High Priestess clarifying the chariot. We've got all the major arcana for water out here. Death is Scorpio, chariots, Cancer, High Priestess is Pisces. Naked hearts on the bottom a special major arcana to this deck it's a go all or go home right 99% is not 100 type energy that's on the bottom eight of wands is on top this is high speed right spirits communicating you giving you sinks giving you all kinds of stuff to keep you moving in the right direction go all or go home and I say it all the time if it's not a fuck yeah it's a fuck no like you got to follow your feel goods if something's off if something is hesitating or wants to hesitate, like, please fucking stop and don't just keep going, right? Please stop. A great example would be what the fuck I'm dealing with with my finger right now. Like, I went all the way to New Jersey and wanted to see my tattoo artist because I wanted to get work done. But he was busy. And my immediate action reaction was, all right, then I guess I'll have to come back another time. But I really wanted a tattoo, right? I really wanted one. So they ended up calling in a tattoo artist in early, right? They called him in an hour early. And they was like, well, he can't come in until 3. And it was 2 o'clock. And I was just like, oh, you know, and it was a bummer. Like, I really would have been okay if, it, you know, 15 minutes, you know, my son was with me. And he would have had to wait with me and all the shit. And I was like, I really want it, though. I really want to at least get something done. And so I was like, I'll wait. <laughs> right? Against my intuition. Said, I'll wait. Guy walks in, and I immediately, I immediately didn't want the tattoo from him. Just his energy, the way he presented, I was like, fuck this. But I was like, you know what? The guy said he has plenty of experience. It's a simple little tattoo on my finger. No big deal. It'll be fine, right? Talk to myself out of it again. Then he gives me the price, and I'm just like, Ugh. like didn't really like the price, but I was like, I'm already here now. He already came in early, right? Excuses, went for it anyway, got the tattoo anyway, and he didn't tell me that finger tattoos are hit or miss, and they don't always heal well. They don't always take well. I got it on this finger because it literally holds every card I present. Every time I hold up a card, that finger shows. It didn't heal very well. My body rejected all of the purple because I got my logo. I got my logo. The, uh, I'll show you because it's on my gratis Eternum box. My purple heart with the infinity symbol and the little teeny heart there. Yeah, I got the infinity symbol there. The black took. None of the purple did, though. <laughs> so when I reached out to the tattoo artist, like, hey, tried to email him. He's just not answering. Messaged my friend Drew at the shop, and he was just like, you know, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Like, we all deal with our clients the way we deal with our clients. Like, I'm sorry. I know you're upset, but... You know, he said he'd touch it up for free if he come back in. I said, touch it up for free? I was like, it's a two-day drive and $300 worth of gas. It's not free. I want at least something back from it. You know what I mean? It was overpriced as fuck. I, I overpaid. Like, can he throw me back something so I can have it fixed local? Guy never responded. Just never fucking responded. His name is Rev. R-E-V. 
at um, Cara Blossom's tattoo, professional tattoo parlor in Philadelphia. Do not, do not go to Rev. Drew is great. But if you want a very high quality tattoo and someone who actually gives a shit and enjoys their job because they're an artist truly and they're not just doing it for money, um, don't go to Rev. That's bullshit. So, um, 99% is not 100, right? And I feel like spirit, that's the whole point of me telling you this story. I feel like spirit is overloading you with synchronicities and intuition saying, go in this direction, go in this direction, go in this direction, right? 99% is not 100. You can't choose against your victory. You can't choose against your victory, which is why I know on some level I was meant to fucking have this horrible error created and well divine will help me fix it because the divine loves me and i will find someone local matter of fact i've already been referred to one and i'm looking forward to it so as soon as it heals up i will have it fixed right 11 11 was on the timer so faith everything happens for a reason maybe y'all need to know if you're in the philadelphia area not to go to Amkara blossom and ta be tattooed by rev that's bullshit right maybe y'all need to know <laughs> maybe that's specific for somebody don't go to rev Okay, it's fucking bullshit. Um, and the cards, right? Death with the movement of cups in the reverse. Uh, you might be going through a major transformation and have nothing nice to say. <laughs> Maybe before you wouldn't have said anything, right? And you would have just dealt with it. But the movement of cups is the knight of cups and it's in reverse. Maybe you've got nothing nice to fucking say. And that's the transformation. Like, give me something nice to say and I'll say something nice. You give me, you know, honor me and, and be good to me and, and be right by me. Do fair, right? Do fair on a nightmare. Be fair on a nightmare. Great. I'll talk about how great you are, right? And how you brought justice to a horrible, unfortunate situation. But if I ain't got nothing nice to say, I ain't fucking saying nothing nice then. It's not, well, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. No, if you don't have anything fucking nice to say, don't say anything nice then, but fucking say it. Say it. Because you're clear and not saying something makes you feel confused. Like you don't know what to do. Well, you do know what to do. You aren't fucking happy and you're not voicing it. Fucking express yourself. Fuck that saying. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Fuck that. They gave you no reason to say something nice. They gave you no fucking reason to say something nice. What are you going to say? What am I going to say? What, what nice thing can I say about Rev? Nothing. Nothing. He was a waste of my time and he was a waste of my money. He didn't do a great job. And he wasn't informative because if he told me that fingers on heel well, I would have got it on my wrist or something. I would have put it somewhere else. I would I would never have put it on my finger. All I had to do was say that. But listen, you're telling me how important, you know, this finger is to you. It holds up every card on your channel because I told him. You're telling me how important it is. Fingers don't always heal well. I wouldn't necessarily recommend getting it there if you really need it to look perfect. It might not come out perfect. I would have been like, thank you so much for telling me. I'll get it on my wrist instead. I'll get it somewhere else. But you didn't. I got nothing nice to say about Rev. Fuck him. He's not a tattoo artist that loves his job. Well, if you're dealing with the same shit in your life with people, they ain't giving you nothing nice to say. Don't ignore the fact that they're making you feel some type of way. Bring justice to the fucking nightmare. Like if you weren't a fucking nightmare, I wouldn't have a nightmare to talk about. Bring balance to it. If you don't like people talking about you in a negative way, don't act in a negative way for people to talk about. Simple. Simple. He don't fucking like that I'm talking about him this way? Well, guess what? He can still email me and say, listen, I'm sorry. Let's make right on this so I can do another video and say, you know what? He righted it wrong. I appreciate it. And if he don't, fuck him. <laughs> I'll say what the fuck is real, right? I'll say what the fuck is real because intuitively you already know. High Priestess, clarifying the chariot. The universe is moving you fucking forward in order to close some shit. You already know. You're divinely protected. You already know you're protected. 
what you're feeling and what you're doing. We got Venus and Mars on this card. The moon on this card. Look at that. It's about being in balance, moving forward. Divine movement forward at that. We've got two major arcana here. The seven and the two, that's nine. It's cycle close. That's cycle close. And to be fair, I love my friend Drew. He's super fucking talented, but I won't step foot back in Omkara because if I saw Rev, I'd probably spit in his face and end up in a physical altercation. Because <laughs> that's how much I don't appreciate people like him. I am not that way. I am not that way. So it is what it is. I ain't going back there. I ain't going back there. Obviously not meant to see Drew anymore so long as he's there. I ain't fucking doing it. I ain't fucking doing it. I've got fucking Jupiter and Aqua. Jupiter and Aqua, 99% is not 100, y'all. When a victory, you gotta listen. The first sign was when Drew was busy, right? Second sign was that I had to wait an hour. My son didn't feel like it. He did it anyway. Third sign was as soon as he walked in the fucking door, I was like, oh, hell no. What the fuck? Fourth one. The price ain't right. Shit. Hell, the fifth one, he didn't actually have the color purple that I wanted. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. It was close, but it was too cool. I wanted a warmer purple. He didn't want to mix a color. He didn't give a fuck. He was just there and making money. He didn't give a fuck that it was important to me that I wanted it to be. It's my logo. Like, he didn't give a shit. Pay attention. Like, and stop making excuses. Stop making excuses. Like, if I'm going to sit here and express to you my mistake, like, you want to see the mistake? This is what not listening to my intuition looks like, given it's worse because it's healing. <clears throat> but mistakes aren't pretty. Not listening to your intuition, it's not pretty. I've got no purple. No purple. No purple. A little teeny heart's missing. Purple's gone. <laughs> no purple. Be open about your mistakes and don't fucking repeat them. Don't repeat them. Next time you have a fucking nudge from spirit, right? That eight of wands on the top of the deck. Next time you have a fucking nudge, don't fucking ignore it. Don't ignore it. 99% is not 100. Spirit's leading you to victory. You're the one that decides that you don't want it. You want what you want. No. What I really wanted was Drew to do my tattoo. And he was busy. And I should have fucking waited. Should have fucking waited. True facts. So. Now I get to rock a band-aid. <laughs> Until hopefully I get it fixed. Until it's fixed. I have faith it'll be fixed. I don't hope. I have faith it'll be fixed. It's just a matter of waiting now. And I gotta deal with this in the meantime. Spirit's reminding me. Every time I look at that band-aid and every time I see the purple missing from my heart, I gotta remember 99% is not 100. Please don't ignore yourself, Grace. No matter how much you want something. Please don't ignore yourself. Aqua, that's the lesson for you as well. Do not be unclear. When you are very clear... Do not be confused. Do not confuse yourself. What's clear is clear. Rock and hard place what? There is no rock and hard place. Don't confuse yourself. There's nothing to be confused about. You don't need to see a red flag a mile away. You just need to let your intuition guide you. So what if you can't see? So what if things are confusing? Is something pulling you like, please don't do it, something's off, and you're making excuses or convincing yourself? Because if you're making excuses or convincing yourself, that's, that's the first problem right there. So, 
Aqua, I have faith that this lesson has served you however it was meant to serve you. I love you. I will see you in Ofukase. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>